What's up, everybody? It's John with John Sports Talks coming into the brand new video. How's everyone doing today on this Wednesday? It's hump day. We are going to dive into one of these Vendomatic boxes. This is box number two. Box number two uh, of the ten. Ten boxes that we have for this uh, this this uh, this uh, vending box by Vendomatic. You may have seen a video that I posted a few weeks ago where I went out to Vendomatic. They're out near Bedford, Pennsylvania, and I picked up this... Uh, this lot of 10 boxes that I won on an online auction that they were having. They were cleaning all, out a lot of their inventory. Kitty rides, vending machines, things like that. And they had these baseball cards. They had, I think, 10 lots of 10 boxes uh, per lot. And I bought one because uh, I wasn't sure what, what we're going to find in, uh, in them. Now, the first box is okay. You know, I got a couple of Hall of Fame cards, a lot of commons. Let's see what's in this one. There's bound to be something good. Now, the, the, the auction company says there's Hall of Famers. Uh, he said in each box... It's random years of cards. Uh, I don't know what to expect. I didn't look at these. I uh, want to be surprised. So they've been sitting down uh, down near the front door uh, where it's nice and cool and the card's going to be safe. And I just pulling up in a second box right now. We're going to get this open. Okay. So if you haven't seen this, this, uh, this product open before, let me just do this. Let me move this over here and slide up this mat since we're... There we go. Now, now I have some space, and you can see the logo a little bit better, too. Okay, so these cards are in sleeves, cardboard sleeves. And here they come like this. So we're going to take out each one and open them up and see what cards we pull out of them. I'll try to go a little faster this time. Last time, I think I went a little slow. Um, let's see how quickly we can get this video done. And uh, we can find here. Okay, here we go. So then these sleeves that are awesome. So I assume these went in the machines and then you put the quarter in or whatever it cost and they came out and I don't know how many would come out. Um, they actually were selling the vending machines for this too. So uh, that's pretty sweet. So you got 83 and, and people have asked about buying these. I'm going to keep them just so you know. Um, the, the cardboard things. I'm not selling those. Okay. 1983 Fleer. That's pretty cool. Even though it's Julio Cruz, you know, he's a great, great second baseman, but this card is sharp and I will take an old vintage card like that any day of the week. Got A7, Don Carmen. Okay, got A6, John Cerruti. Oh, it's a traded. Okay. No common car from the trade, except it's still pretty cool to get out of here. We're going to open up a box of A6 tops tomorrow, wax box. Got score here, and this is uh, Rising Star Clay Parker from 1990, it looks like. Score. Okay. One second, folks. Okay, here we go. Next one. Kevin Apier, King of the Hill, Donruss. That's pretty sweet. Very nice stuff there. Okay, let's keep rock and rolling. All right, I'm going to put the Fleers aside, too. Actually, we have the whole set. We'll just leave them in here. I thought it was something I need to take out of here in case I need to build out on it. Moose Haas. 87 Tops. There's Craig Reynolds. A3. Fleer right there. Next up. John Russell. 87 Tops. There, were, there was a lot of this stuff in the first box. I think it was different years. Maybe there were, I can't remember. It was a couple weeks ago. 94 Fleer. Doug Jones. Pretty nice stuff right there. Common. Let's see what else we got. Eric Owens, Donruss. 97. Donruss, I believe. White Sox leaders. 87 tops. Dave Schmidt. Um, 86 tops. Eric Yelding. Score. Joe Orsalak, 87 tops. The King of the Kill, David Cohn. That's pretty sweet. Met and Yankee, and who else was he on? I can't remember. <sighs> the, only, the only negative thing about it is a lot of dust that comes out of this. Tim Belcher, Top Stadium Club. From 97, I believe. Very nice stuff right there. 
Carrie Poole from 983 Fleer. Rui Law from 87 Tops. This is Eric Anthony from 94 Fleer. Joe Randa. Donruss. Steve. <laughs> uh, fire, fire, fire Ovid. 87 Tops. Carmen Castillo from 86 Tops. I will say that these are like in really good shape though for 86 Tops. There are always issues of the black border at, at the top with shipping. So the way these were obviously stored saved them. Gary Wayne, Score. Bobby Witt, 87. And like all these cards in great shape. Corners are just sensational on them. Uh, Jeff Vassero, King of the Hill. Love those purple. That's beautiful cards. Uh, Marty Jansen, Top Stadium Club. Pretty sweet. Yeah, base still. Randy Moffitt. Seems like we've written all the Astros. Let me just see something. So this is card number 456. I'm just curious how they collated these. Let's see. Aha, uh -huh, 458, 456. They're pulling them all from the same 460. But they're pulling them all from the same, um, you know, stack and just went down. Ron Davis, 87 tops. This is uh, Rich Renteria um, for the um, Marlins here, 94 Fleer. The last one, the first stack is. Stephen Carse from Donruss. Okay. You know, a lot of commons. I like the purple uh, Kings of the Hill, though. King of the Hill. Here's number two. Okay. Let's see if we can get out of this one. Cool. I'm really loving the 83 Fleers. Regardless of they're, like I said, they're regular old base common cards. It's still cool to pull them out of something like this in prime shape. I mean, these are like pack fresh. A6 Tops, uh, Ozzy Virgil. Mike Felder from 87 Tops. There's Dave Henderson from 83 Fleer. The King of the Hill, Pat Hennigan. Very nice. John Miserock. 87 Tops. Joe Sambito. 83 Fleer. Scott Bradley from 87 Tops. This is Ken Hill, 94 Fleer. Dave Schmidt from 83 Fleer. Ernie Camacho, 87 Tops. Scott Fletcher from 86 Tops. Dwayne Murphy, it's a nice card there. Oakland Athletics, beautiful. Uh, Gary Gray, another 83 back-to-back, -back. 83 Fleurs on the King of the Hill. Kevin Brown, pretty nice. Third-year card? I'm not sure. A lot longer than that. Uh, Milt Thompson from 87 Tops. Vern Rule from 83 Fleer. John Henry Johnson from 87 Tops. Line of the Shields, 94 Fleer. Too bad. He's an outfielder. Well, this is cool. We've got a medal from 96. Um, Platinum Edition, Charles Johnson. That's a very nice card right there. Very cool. Probably second year card for Mr. Johnson's, my guess. Awesome. We'll put that. It's got a little ding in the corner, though, which is odd because these cards have all been in great shape. I don't know why that would be in there, but it is. I mean, you know, I mean, happened there uh dan meyer you know i was wondering if they you know sometimes these cards have gotten caught at the top of these uh um cardboard holders there's rick leach from a6 tops jim cork from a7 tops todd cruz from 83 fleer the king of the hill alex fernandez Not too bad Arno Coles from 87 Tops and Burt Robert, Roberge, 83 Fleer. 
Rafael Santana from 87 Tops. Earl Hershiser, 94 Fleer. I don't know why he's not in the Hall of Fame. No, he just did not. His, I don't even know if he has any more um, opportunities or not. Last card of this one is Rudy Pemberton. The Red Sox is Donruss. Okay. Straighten out these cardboard things that don't fall over. Okay, now, number three. All right. Jack Clark. 87 Tops. Okay, I got some pinnacle starting up now. Kevin Moss. We would have been really, really rich if we had pulled that back in the day. Maybe not that. That took a good year. But it was a rookie year. Dave Palmer from 87 Tops. Um, Ricky Gutierrez, Upper Deck. Again, a common card. Just nice stuff to see in here. Different different um, types. Chris Sabo with the crazy funky goggles there. It's Pinnacle. And these are from uh, 92. Two Pinnacle. Okay, Stadium Club, Matt Miski. Top Stadium Club. Uh, this is Todd Green, Upper Deck. Mike Boddicker from 87 Tops. 87 Tops again, Mike Heath this zenith oh, i remember these pinnacle put these out this is a good one look roberto alomar that's a nice card okay look at that i mean that's like you know okay he's on the orioles it's probably near the end of his you know i don't know how when his career ended i can't remember off the top of my head but um you know still a really nice card to pull out let's put that one aside and not and, you know it's a hall of famer and it's just it's just uh I think this is like a set or something, like a smaller release that came out. I can't, I don't know. Comment down below if you know. But I haven't seen those before. I mean, anywhere. Uh, Rick Russo, I just remember reading about him or something like that. Uh, another Kevin Moss. Uh, Top Stadium Club, Tom, Tom Candiotti. Love the gloss on those, they're beautiful. Okay, this is Cliff Floyd. Not in the hall, but a name. You know, upper deck. Let's put him aside. Highlight. The Chris Sabo. So they're throwing some doubles in here, it's looking like. It happened last time, too, I think. Ruben Sierra, Stadium Club. Nice card there. Uh, this is uh, Bill Taylor. It's had a little chipping happening here. So a deck card. Next one. A's leaders. 87 tops. Way off center. Next one is another one of these Zenith cards. And that is Mr. Paul Molitor. How about them apples? That's pretty cool. Whoa. So they were not lying. These Hall of Fame cards are in are in these. Wild. I, I just wasn't expecting to see Zenith. You know. And then fall by Ernie Riles. A7 Tops. Ron Karkovice. A7 Tops. Another one of these. This is who? Who is this? Show White Sox. Albert Bell. Not in the hall, but still a really nice car. I mean, these are beautiful. Beautiful. Sharp. I mean, they've been preserved all these years in this thing. That's, that's pretty cool. Barry Jones. Too bad it wasn't Barry Bonds. A7 Tops. Dave Smith Pinnacle. There's another one of these stadium club. This is Carlos Baerga. Okay, here in the Mets. Very nice. Uh, but aren't Gilkey. Upper deck. These are from what, 97. So that makes sense. What year is it? What year are these ones from? 97, so maybe that's, yeah, because we're seeing, I don't think we saw anything later than that in that first box. We haven't even gone, gone up that high. Brett Butler. Let's see what the next one is. John Jaha, Stadium Club. Ah, you gotta be kidding me! I had a feeling, I just had this feeling that there was gonna be something good. 
in this thing after we were seeing these. That's awesome. Look at that. Derek Jeter. That's pretty sweet. That's not a rookie card or anything, but it's a pretty sweet thing to pull out of something like this. I'll take that any day of the week. Yes, I will. Just dust out of here. And we've got more to go. There's one, two, three, four, five to go. We've got to hustle up here. The last card is Chad Ojea. That's awesome. That is a beautiful card right there. These are all, these Zenith cards are really nice. I, I don't know how I didn't really, you know, I mean, like I said, I don't know how I haven't come across these before. And it takes a wacky weird product like this to show up. And that's crazy. All right, let's do the next one. See what else we can find in here. I'm loving this. This is a much better box than that first one. Okay, let's see. What else is in here? Gorman Thomas. He's seven tops. Another one. Look at that. Barry Larkin. Oh, yeah. That's awesome. Cannot beat that. Very cool. Nice Larry Parrish from 83 Fleer. Franklin Stubbs. They must have felt like these were, I don't know if they were, were these, were those, if anybody knows about the Xena thing, were they overproduced? I'm just wondering why they would have just given up on them. And well, actually, you know, I don't know, a lot of these guys were still playing, so they weren't like in the Hall of Fame at all. They probably had no idea. They didn't foresee it uh, happening for these players. I assume they were just regular players, stars, whatever, but nothing major. Ricky Botalico, top stadium club. Because I'm thinking of it like in now time, and it's just like, it's amazing to see these players in here, but... Um, they probably just didn't know, and they threw a couple good cards in this uh, box and so far. So Pat Mears there, upper deck. Kelly Gruber, pinnacle. Bob Shirley. Who's this? R Ramiro Mendoza, the Yankees. I don't remember him. 87 Tops, Kelly Gruber, they're giving us all the regular base comments from that. Bruce Bochy, great player there. Kevin Seitzer, Donruss. Nice. Paul Marabella. <laughs> He's just looking like, huh? That mustache, man. Bob Rogers. So there's an A3 Fleur, 87 Tops. Al Martin. Stadium Club. Who's this? This is Brian Bohannon. These upper decks are very nice, though, too. Very nice cards. Uh, Mark Langston. Pinnacle. Phil Bradley. Is at the end of the nice Zenith card run? Maybe it is. Um, Troy Percival. Upper deck. We just... You know, got a little taste of something good. Now we're back to the regular stuff again. Craig McMurtry. John Matlock. Matlack. Mark Wollers. Donruss. Dale Mohorchik. 87 Tops. I'm going to need a... Wash my hands up, though. This dude, Jelts from 87 Tops. John Flaherty. Top Stadium Club. Uh, this is um, Jose Guillon. These are Pirates. Diamond Debut. Okay. I'd normally put that aside, but Jose Guillon didn't really do much for us. So I'm just going to put the right there. Wow, that's a nice Mark Grace. A few years in the league at that point. Pinnacle. Roger Mason from 87 Tops. This is nice, Darren Dreifert. That protects are really nice cards. They did a great job. It's just a shame they don't put out anything like that anymore. Scott Fletcher, I don't believe they do. Um, unless there's something they have on their website. But they are still around Upper Deck. They have not gone away yet. It's not as uh, massive as they used to be, obviously. All right, next one. Okay, John Stearns, 83 Fleer, Jeff Kent from Donruss there, Carmen Castillo, 
the Kid Row from 83 Fleer. All right, getting some newer, I mean, it's not newer, you know what I mean. Um, it's a 94 Tops, Jeff Juden. Oops, got stuck. Jack O'Connor from 83 Fleer. Nice Alan Trammell. All right, I'll put him aside, Hall of Famer there. Take that. Well, that's Pinnacle in his later in his career. It's still, you know, a cool card to pull. Orfield Belliard. Shot him as a Trammell. Hall of Famer there for the Detroit Tigers. Michael Tucker. Donruss. Alex Trevino. Man, these are like really excellent shape. Another one, Charlie Paleo. All comments, but really, really cool. Jim Loritz. Donruss there. Orlando Mercado. 87 Tops, Pat Tabler from 83 Fleer. Who's this? Coming Attractions, uh, Carl Everett, Dave Weathers. All right, Carl Everett had, you know, decent name there for a little while. Let's put him aside, highlight that card, something different. You know, I mean, he's kind of a, I don't know if I'd call him, was he a superstar for a little while? He might have been. Bob Mitchell. It's tough. It's tough. Baseball's a hard, hard sport, man. It's like a completely fine line, uh, you know, with things. It's just amazing. There's Roberto Kelly. You know, you you got to be good at making the majors. You know, we insult uh, these players by calling them names. I don't know personally, but you know what I mean. There are a lot of people out there, you know, call them all kinds of all players, and they don't do well, all kinds of terrible names. And, you know, that's a tough sport. My father and I talk about it all the time. It's JT Snow here with the uh, Giants. And they take such a, it's such a small amount of players on each team. And you go down through the minors, it's, I mean, the chances of making it, it's like really tough. I think we got to give some of these guys a break, even though know, they make a lot of money and everything, but it's just like, you know, shouldn't insult them. Uh, Bob Shirley, because they do have a talent. It's an A3 Fleer. But a lot of us don't. So, you know, getting paid for it. Rick o Ownby. Uh, this is Todd Stottlemyre. It's Donruss. Sorry, it's kind of went off on a little tangent there. Uh, Bill Mooningham. Oh, because we, we were talking about Carl Everett. Nice! Look at that. Lee Smith. That's a Hall of Fame card there. Um, he was an A2. I think that was considered his rookie card for Fleer. So this is like a second year. That is beautiful. Put that one aside. That's something I was not expecting to find in here. The Z of the cards are really cool. The Jeter was, again, not something I expected. But a second year card of a hall of famer you're looking at second year no it's uh, sometimes these, it doesn't matter these uh these early years of these players are can end up being valuable and that this card is like really centered well and it doesn't look like it has any dings and it's like really sharp corners this is a really nice card to pull out of a product like this chris nabholtz oh tops right there jeff little I'm very impressed by this box right now. Very impressed. Marquise Grissom. It's only a handful of cards, but, you know, Dave Johnson. 87 Toss Manager card right there. Marquise Grissom again here in the Indians. It's Donruss. 97. I've been calling it the year. And, that, and Joe Price ends the uh, stack. We've got three more to go. So I'm going to do this a little bit faster. So we're not here in another 20 minutes. Okay. Here's number one, top exposed leaders. Ken Dreisen, Dreifen, Dreisendorfer, Dressendorfer. He was in the first box, prospect card. I'm not going to highlight him. <laughs> Sorry, Kirk. Didn't, uh, hopefully, you're not watching. Pete Falcone, 83 Fleer. Steve Henderson. We we're in the Cubs. We we're going to pull out something cool like a Sandberg, and that would be unreal. I doubt it, but you never know. Pokey Reese. This is uh, Fleer Ultra, and this is from, what year is this from? Um, 90, let's see. It's hard to read. It's 98? It can't be 98. We haven't had any 98s. Anyway, let's keep going. Greg Walker from 87 Tops. Bruce Bochy. Nice. A tease with those Cubs cards there for a second. Jeff Leite or Leite. 
87 tops. The line of the shields. Lots of the shields and Grissom cards in here. Whoops. Greg Harris. 83 Fleer. Nice Huey Brooks. 83 Fleer. Jeff Carter, rookie prospect card from Pinnacle from 92. Dodgers leaders, um, 87 tops. Joey Davis, 83 Fleer. Ray, Ardon or Ray Ordonez, Fleer Ultra. Very nice stuff there. Let's keep going. Red Havens, 87 tops. Jim Beatty, 83 Fleer. John McNamara, 87 Tops. John, mm, let's see his name. Dan Driesen, good solid player there for a long time. 83 Tops, another 83 Tops. Bob Baylor, a lot of them in the stack here. Idols, that's Ozzie Smith and Chuck Knobloch. It's Pinnacle. So you got a Hall of Famer, and I don't know if Knobloch will ever make it in or not. I don't think he will. Still nice. Jim Slayton, 87 Tops. Bill Campbell, 83 Fleer. Gerald Williams, Fleer Ultra. Nice. And the Brewers. Billy Joe Robodeau. Wouldn't be complete without a Billy Joe Robodeau card. Floyd Bannister. 83 Fleer. A couple more to go after this. Brian Dayette from 87 Tops. Darren Dalton. Rest in peace, Mr. Darren Dalton from 97 um, um, Donruss. Last card is Cesar Cedeno from 83 Tops. I just love this year. This is just incredible stuff. All right, two more. This one's on. That was on tight. All right, let's see what else we have. Okay, this is Robert Machado, Pacific. I've not seen those before. What's in Spanish? Sweet. Bilingual cards. Awesome. Gotta love that, too. Billy Joe Robodeau, again, from 86 Tops. Traded. You could tell. It's really clean looking. Jeff Weathers, Weathers, Weatherby from Score. Matt Williams, Pinnacle. Dave Clark, 89 Fleer. Mark Grace. It's a very nice card there. Um, I don't know if this is a normal, but this is in prime shape. I'm just going to highlight that. Mark Grace doesn't get a lot of attention here on the channel, and we should give him some because he was a good first baseman. Frank Castillo from 91 Donruss. Nice! Look at that. Edgar Martinez. Another Hall of Famer. There's a lot in here. I'm telling you. That was not expecting that. Very cool. Alan Watson. Uh, first round draft pick car from Pinnacle. Uh, Quentin McCracken. 97 Don. Oh, is that Upper Deck? It's Upper Deck. Kevin Foster, another one of these Pacific bilinguals. Cubs, throwback jersey, uniform one. Andres Thomas, another one from the trade set. Whoops, I can always just come over here. Dave Johnson, score. Matt Williams, he should get in too. He was really good. I don't know if he's been up yet for it. Uh, Ken Daly, 89 uh, Fleer. Tom Flash Gordon. Tops. These are from 90. Let's see. 7, 8, 9, 99. These are the newest cards I've seen in these in these boxes. Well, we've only done two, but you know what I'm saying. Um, most of the stuff's been a lot older. Uh, Chris Hammond, the rookies. This is Willie McGee, Pinnacle. Another Alan Watson. 
Uh, this is Mark, Mike Jackson, sorry, upper deck. What's this? Ken Caminetti, rest in peace. It's like a die cut, I think. It's something weird. It's just wild. I will highlight him. He had his issues. I think I don't think I think he's passed away. I believe. I believe. Mike Lacoste from '86 tops traded. There. Scott Lauzer from Score. Jay Buner, Pinnacle. Not a rookie card. I think it was a year or two prior. The Double Trouble. Uh, Alex Galarraga and Gerald Perry. Ian Fleer. Very nice. Wally Joyner. Tops. 99 Tops. Charles Nagy, the rookies. Darren Dalton again. Classic. McDonald's card. It's different. Okay. Shades. Jay Buner. Pinnacle Shades. And Trey Moore. Upper deck. Okay, well, one more to go. And we're done with the box. Okay. Matt Winters. Score. Andy McGaffigan. 86 Tops Trade. Tim Salmon with these Pacific Bilinguals. Tom Candiotti. Saren, this is like perfect. You know, you know Tom Candiotti. Decent pitcher, but you know, just amazing. These cards are in really good shape. Mike Burbeck. Devon White. Jose Melendez, the rookies from anyone Donruss. Jose Guzman. Boy, we're like a dry spell here. Edgar Renteria, Raider, Raider rookie card. I'll highlight that. Uh, who's this? This is uh, Doug Drabeck from the Orioles. Darren Erstad, another one of these Pacific um, Invincible. Kind of cool. I like that one, too. It's different. Something we don't see every day. Jose Beto, top straight from 86. Down the end here. Kenny Rogers, rising star. Okay. Earl Hershiser, pinnacle. And Fleur Larry Sheets. What's this? Raul Mondesi. Nice little ding it though. Well, the number said the rookies. 91 Donruss. Tony Pena, great catcher. 72 Pinnacle. Tyler Green, draft pick car for Pinnacle. Uh, this is, uh, um, who is this? I can't read this. Brent Gates. Not looking very happy. Mike Holtz, those Pacific Bilingual cards. Mr. Bob Walk, Pittsburgh Pirates announcer. He shows up everywhere, folks. Bob Walk. Nothing I better to do. Eric Anthony. Score. Sweet Lou Whitaker. Pinnacle. Whoops, got caught. Almost David Cohn. I don't know if this is a, this might be, is this a rookie card? I'm not 100% sure on that. Um, we'll put him in the pile and, and you guys can comment down below. I don't know if he was in uh, an update set for the year prior for Fleer. Rico Bronia for the Phillies. Pedro Munoz, the rookies from 91 dollars. The last few cards are Jay Buner again. Another Shades, Jay Buner. Double. And the last card is uh, Brian Anderson, Upper Deck the Diamondbacks. So, I was very happy with this box. Now, we got a lot of commons it's to, ex to be expected. In fact, that's this big pile right here. I'll show you right there. I like the variety of cards. Again, um, let's just showcase what we have. Uh, I put, pulled some of these aside in the beginning, but some of these are rookies. Some of these are just interesting cards. 
I don't know if this is David Cohn's rookie card. Comment down below. Kenny Rogers, rising star kind of card there. Darren Erstad. Um, I don't know if you call this a die cut or what this is, but it's got this really cool frame thing with his photo in here, and it's really nice. And then uh, Edgar Renteria, rookie. Ken Caminetti, another one of those. Pacific Invincibles. I just like this card. Um, we don't give Mark Grace any love here on the channel. Uh, I wasn't a big fan of Mark Grace. Uh, didn't, you know, don't you know? Never really liked the Cubs that much. But he was a really good first baseman. He could hit very, very well. Could, and um, I thought I'd showcase that Carl Everett coming attractions card. Uh, Cliff Floyd threw him in here in the beginning, so I wasn't sure we we're gonna find King of the Hill. Alex Fernandez. He's a Donruss. Nice metal, but it's got some dings in it. That's Charles Johnson. That's a platinum edition. Another King of the Hill, Kevin Brown, Pat Hennigan, Jeff Fracero, David Cohn, and then Kevin Apier was the first one we pulled. The Hall of Famers were awesome out of this box, um, I must say. And let's just go through them very quickly and we'll be done. Next, Edgar Martinez, Pinnacle from 82. This is a Pinnacle one. Um, has the Wiz and Chuck, no Chuck Knobloch. This is awesome. Second year, Lee Smith from Fleer. Very nice stuff there. Alan Trammell. But these cars are, were, in my opinion, the best of the bunch. And let's put this one back here at the end, in case you're watching the end recap. Barry Larkin, Hall of Famer. This is back of the Zenith, looks like. These are awesome. I gotta look into the story of this set and what the deal is. Uh, it's Albert Bell, not in the Hall, but it's still a good card to pull. Another Hall of Famer right here, Paul Molitor. And these are really in great shape. It doesn't look like there's any kind of like issues at all with these cards. Uh, Roberto Alomar. But the big find in here was this one. <laughs> it's awesome. I mean, it's not a rookie, but it's just, you know, to pull Derek Jeter out of this, that's way cool. And I'm loving that. That's awesome, awesome, cool stuff. And um, yeah, so there you go, folks. That is the second box of Vendomatic. We are going to get uh, into the into another box of this soon, but not for a little while. Um, it's going to be a little time before we get into another one because we got a lot of this stuff planned. Now, uh, just to really recap things at the end here, we... Um, we have some really cool stuff coming up this week. Tomorrow we throw back Thursday, and that is uh, with an A6 uh, Tops Wax Box break. I'll hopefully we'll be able to go through that pretty quickly. Um, we'll be on the hunt for a couple of key rookie cards there in that year and some other Hall of Famers and whatnot. Um, and um, what else can I say? Friday is the, is, the, is the world premiere, if you want to call it that, of the new Universal Treasures purple box. It's got awesome stuff inside of it it's got uh rack packs this time around i can't fit albert bell in here he's gonna be kind of hanging out in the corner um there um that's on friday and uh so you're gonna want to watch that that video and um i'm looking forward to opening up that product it should be really cool so but this was awesome today how about that i was gonna do stadium club and i can't find it anywhere and um so I'm going to order, order it online instead of running around looking for it in the retail stores. I don't really want to buy a hobby box of it. So I was trying to figure out what to do today on this Wednesday. And I said, oh, we got all these vending Venomatic boxes. Let's do one of those. And this is, this is awesome. So just for these five cards right here, four Hall of Famers and a big superstar Albert Bell. Um, and a few of the other good ones that we found. These, there are some cool things in here, too. I love those A3 Fleers. Those are just rocking out of a box like this. So, hopefully you liked it. Remember, if you're not subscribed, if you'd like to see here, that subscribe button right below. Next finger, give you a thumbs up. Comment down below. It's almost 40 minutes into this. is a very long video. Uh, so, just for your friends, if you can love ones, eBay store link is down below in the description. Um, again, look out for Throwback Thursday tomorrow. Friday's going to be awesome. So, you're going to want to watch that on Friday. The Universal Treasures brand new purple um, vintage box. Yeah, I believe it's all tops, I believe. And there's uh, just, I don't want to give it all away. We'll talk about it. We'll probably bring it up on Throwback Thursday tomorrow. Uh, that's all I got for you guys today. Thanks a lot for watching, everybody. This is John John Sports Card signing off. And hey, we'll see y'all soon.